Okay, Colleen, good job, Colleen, great question. She asked, well, what about cancer, and what about Parkinson's, and, and what about mental health issues, and, and I might just tack on to that, what about tornadoes and tsunamis, and what about all the bad stuff that happens in this world? Why does God allow that to happen? Now, that's a big question for a short video, but I really, I honestly think I can tell you the answer to that question in a short video, and so here it goes. For us, life is about life, it's about it's about enjoying the green grass and the bright sun and it's just about enjoying life, having family and relationships and just sucking the morrow out of life. That's what life is about for us. That's the puzzle we're trying to fix is how do I be happy uh, here in this life? Listen, that is not the puzzle that God is trying to, to fix, to solve. He's He's not looking down and going, man, how can I give him everything they could possibly want here in this life? That's not what he's trying to do. Here's what he's trying to do. He's trying to use this life as a way to bring us back to him, to believe in him, to follow after him, so that he can give to us eternal life. Right? And you hear that and you're like, yeah, yeah, but what about... I mean, we're, we're such whiners. We're like, yeah, I guess eternal life, eternity in paradise, I guess that's okay. But what about right now? It's a brilliant plan. God's trying to, to give us a permanent solution forever. Here's the thing. We don't turn to God. We don't place our faith in God when things are going good. Right? I've been a pastor for 20 years. I've never had anybody show up to the church and going, man, life is so fantastic. The kids are healthy. The, the wife and I are great. The sex life is phenomenal. We got just money coming out of our pores. Life is just so fantastic. We thought we'd add God into the mix and just see if it makes it even better. That's not... That's not how it works. People return to the heart of their Creator when they experience the things in this life that suck. The, the, when they go through things that are tough and they don't always have answers for, they find themselves humbled and they find themselves on their knees before their Creator, turning to Him in faith. And it is in those moments that God says, because of your faith, because you believed in me, because you sought after me, I now want to provide for you a permanent solution. Not a, not a momentary solution, a permanent solution of eternal life forever and ever. And so that's why Paul writes, our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us eternal glory that far outweighs them all. You might look at that and go, light and momentary? Have you ever lost a child? Have you ever gone through chemo? Have you experienced what I've experienced? Listen, I know right now it's tough. But if you put your faith in God and you believe in Him, I can promise you this, if you go to eternal life and you look back on this life now, a thousand years from now, and you look back on this life and what you experienced, you're gonna go, yeah, that was light, that was momentary, and it achieved for me eternal glory.